Hey, Jocelyn with Walter's World, and we are here meandering through Paris, and I thought I'd answer one of the questions that we've been getting a lot lately, and that is, what type of shoes should we bring on a trip to Europe? So, um, we'll go back up to our apartment, and I'll kind of help you out with that question. So, I basically have five rules for the shoes that I bring on a trip. Um, the first rule is that there are no secret shoes, and that if you're not used to walking a lot every day, your feet are gonna hurt no matter what you're wearing. So prepare for your trip by walking. Walk a lot. Um, I don't know, we probably do between five and 10 miles a day depending on where we are. So get used to that and that'll help you a lot. So my second rule comes from having lived in Europe and traveled extensively um, throughout Europe and bits of South Central America and in Asia. The one way I always know Americans is that one, we're very loud people. It's just who we are and it's part of our culture. But the second thing that gives Americans away is our tennis shoes. Americans tend to wear running shoes everywhere we go. And for the most part, the rest of the world doesn't wear running shoes. They, wore, they wear more what I call urban street shoes, things like um, maybe Converse, um, Vans, those kinds of things. Um, Camper, that's another brand. I don't know if that's not terribly prevalent in America, but I'll get to that in um, rule number five. But anyway, the idea is running shoes make you noticeable as an American and therefore you're a target. Rule number three, bring good shoes. Don't bring something that's cheap and that is gonna fall apart or that is gonna rub your foot terribly. Um, get good, I, I like good leather shoes. Um, if I'm bringing cloth shoes, I make sure that it's sort of supple. Um, it's all about having structure and also a little bit of resilience in the shoe because you know after you walk five or ten miles in a maybe 90 degree heat your feet are gonna swell so you want something that's gonna kinda gonna move with your foot um, so that's sort of an important thing to think about just bring good shoes that's a lot of damn steps <laughs> rule number four bring lightweight shoes one you're walking all over God's green earth and your feet are going to get tired and the heavier your shoes are the sooner that's going to happen and that kind of sucks especially when you go want to go see you know the rest of Rome and you've only seen the Vatican and you, you want to go see 50 other things that day well you need lightweight shoes my thighs are burning and I'm out of breath but my feet feel good That helps not only with everyday foot fatigue, but it also helps with packing. The lighter your shoes are, the more stuff you can stuff into that suitcase. Um, I always wear my heaviest pair of shoes on board the plane if I'm bringing, so like I said, um, I have little booties on in this trip, and then I also have these. These are the shoes I packed. I wore the booties because they're bigger and they're heavier and they take up more room. So that's um, something to consider when, when you go. For instance, we went to Iceland. I wore my hiking boots and I threw a pair of tennis shoes in my bag. They were Converse tennis shoes. They fit in everywhere. Rule number five, and I realize not everyone can do this, but I buy my shoes wherever I am. I rarely go on a trip and don't buy a pair of shoes, maybe because I have a shoe fetish. I don't know. Um, but. I like to buy my shoes where I am because I know that they, like my clothes that I buy where I am, are going to fit in and I'm going to, I'm going to look less like a tourist. A lot of people are concerned about buying shoes and breaking them in and all of those things. You can probably buy band-aids to protect your feet. Um, and Dr. Scholl's are pretty well universal. Um, all those little squishy gel things for, you know, around your Achilles or over your toe or whatever. Those things are available in any pharmacy around the world. So don't be afraid of buying shoes wherever you are. Um, you'll fit in and also you have something great to take away that's useful and that you can have for years down the road. So those are my five rules for what shoes to take on a trip. Number one, walk. 
get prepared, get your feet ready for a lot more walking than you're maybe ordinarily used to. Number two, don't bring American tennis shoes. Those runners, they stand out in a crowd. Number three, bring good shoes. Good shoes will never fail you. Number four, bring lightweight shoes so they don't tire out your feet. And also, usually lightweight shoes take up a little less room in your bag and that's always helpful. Rule number five, buy shoes where you are. They'll fit in and you have a great thing to take home with you. So that's my advice for what shoes to take when you travel and no matter where your shoes take you, I hope that you enjoy the walk. Bye from Paris. I'm gonna say happy feet. There you go. <laughs>